I know, right? Like, he didn't even give me money for winning the battle. Wait, what? Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he did that. That, that, I'm confused. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone, it is I, the one coolest man, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Brick Bronze. In the last episode, we started our adventure here in the Roria re region with our parents getting kidnapped and our only mem memento of them being stolen almost immediately. In this episode, we're going to go behind this patch of trees and grab whatever this item is. It's just a Pokeball. Now I have six instead of my regular five because I have not caught a single Pokemon yet. Is there anything back here? No, there's not. So, th in this episode, we're going to be exploring Chessman Town a little bit more and hopefully getting our necklace back from that evil woman who stole it from us. Anyway, our next stop is actually going to be here in the Sauce Buck Coffee. Oh! Oh, the Esper in the coffee is so cute! Oh! I actually... I actually... I actually, um, before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out, I replayed all my copies of the Pokemon games I owned, and I played through X and Y, and I used an Esper, and it was actually a pretty good team member of mine. So, seeing this actually kind of makes me a bit nostalgic. My Pokemon and I love the coffee here. The natural blends help my Pokemon wake up and get moving faster. It's especially useful for Pokemon battles. She's talking about something that we're going to get just in a second here. I have to have my coffee every morning. It gives me a great speed boost. Anyway, if we talk to this lady, welcome to Sawsbuck Coffee. We're having a special day. We're giving out free samples of our famous Sawsbuck Coffee. Here, have one. You got the Sawsbuck Coffee. N Pokemon especially enjoy drinking Sawsbuck Coffee. Yes, she says that, and you may think that is a normal healing item. But if we were to go in our bag here, this is actually a hold item. It has a random chance at the end of a battle to give Pokemon a speed boost. Which is really useful. Oh, this is a really nice picture of um, uh, all the Sudsbuck forms. Um, the one with the flowers is the spring one. The one with the palm is the summer one. Oh, I didn't even... I didn't, I didn't talk to the guy in, in, in the chair. You know what? We'll, we won't talk to him. Anyway, our final stop at the moment is going to be in the Pokemon Center. Actually, what do you say first? This building over here is the Pokemon Center. There are several things you can find inside. First and more importantly, it's the nurse that heals all your Pokemon. Second is the PC where you store and switch your Pokemon. The third is the Mart which you buy the useful stuff at. Well, thanks for doing my entire introduction for me of what I was going to talk about, but thanks. See that girl over there around the counter? She heals your Pokemon. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? HEAL ME! Heal me! <laughs> Alright, so let's see what Mr. Martman has for us today. He's got the basics, he's got the Pokeballs, some potions, some antidotes, some paralyzed heals. I have nothing for you to sell at the moment. Anyway, we checked the PC, it's pretty bland for the most part. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this PC is actually kind of neat, it's got all the pictures of all the Pokemon floating in the background. We have, I think, eight boxes. Yep, we have eight boxes to start with, all with really nice backgrounds. And I believe if I hit this cog right here, hit wallpaper, uh, if it'll all load in, game. Yeah, you can see there are a lot of actually really, really nice wallpapers if you want them. So you know you can have them all special. I'm just going to keep all mine the same for now because I really like them. Also, over here, you could search for some po certain Pokemon with this, but I'm not going to do that because I have no Pokemon. And one thing I want to do before leaving is nickname Cyndaquil to Cinder, because I always name my, my Cyndaquils that. Anyway, now we can leave, and I don't feel like talking to the rest of the civilians at the moment, so let's just go straight into the action and try and get our freaking necklace back. How you doing, Jake? She's in here somewhere. I'll wait right here so she doesn't get away. You can look for her and get your necklace back. Well, we could do that. Or I can use this as an opportunity to train and also talk about the encounters here. So, who should I mess with? Eeny, meeny, miny, uh, you first. Did you know some Pokemon only come out at night? Gee, I can only imagine. It's kind of funny that he talks about that because 
Hey, speaking of which, that's the Pokemon I was gonna talk about. Very, actually, not even very rarely. Just rarely in this forest at nighttime, you can find Hoot Hoot. Pretty interesting Pokemon. I like Hoot Hoot. I like its design. It's got kind of like clock hands for eyes. Looks like it's wearing glasses. Kind of like a wise owl. It's got the whole Cyclops foot thing going on, which I like. It kind of creeps me out, though. Hey! The sauce but coffee went off. That's kind of interesting. No tackle. My phone just vibrated in front of me. Anyway, I just realized I was supposed to be talking about the encounters. So the other encounters you can find here, you can find Caterpie and Weedle, you can find Nidoran, both male and female, of course. Metapon and Kakuta can also be found here rarely. Wurmpool can be found here, again. You can find Ladybug during the daytime. Spinarak rarely during the nighttime. And 3% of the time, I told you it's only the rare encounters that happen here. That they mention like extremely... What am I trying to say? It's only the extremely rare stuff that they actually give percentage for. You can find Pikachu 3% of the time here. So I don't know, let's try our luck, see if we can find Pikachu. Oh, so you can see, like, back there that that's where the girl's hiding out, but, yeah. Let's see if we can, um, uh, get an encounter and make our way back there at the same time. Alright, here's an encounter. It's... The Caterpie! The game took a really long time to load that. Well, I'm not gonna bother catching this Caterpie at the moment, because I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. But yeah, I'm going to do my best to fight every trainer. Because at the moment, I have no other idea of what the heck I'm going to try and raise for this for my team. At the moment, I have nothing planned. I'm just going to go with whatever I feel like is interesting enough to me. And you have a Kakuna. That was the weirdest way I could have ever said Kakuna. I was like, Kakuna. Anyway, let's just, let's just tackle it, even though it's probably, yep, it's spamming Harden. Just as everyone expected a Kakuna to do. Also, do I want to mention the thing that I always think about about Kakuna? <laughs> anyway, speed rose. Now, something that's kind of weird about the Sazba coffee, I know I'm interrupting myself here, but apparently this item was so good they had to nerf it. They nerfed the chance of it activating. But despite that, it's still going off pretty often for me, actually. Also, I just realized something. You found a Kakuna here, but it's level 6. I'm going to hope you caught that naturally. But even still, it doesn't make sense because Weedle evolves into Kakuna at level 7. How'd you get a level 6 one? Ricky's about to send a Metapod. Well, guys, are you ready? It's the meme. The meme is here. It's a Metapod. How much you want to bet it's also going to spam Harden? Up, oh, yep. Wow, it actually had much better defense than the last one did. <laughs> this is actually going to take a while. I might just cut out the rest of this battle. Unless I have something interesting to say. Pro probably not, knowing myself, but at this rate, if I keep talking over it, I'm going to have to cut not have cut out this battle. But I guess that doesn't really matter, because that just makes the video longer, and that's good for me and you, I guess. I mean, at the same time, the less I edit, the faster these videos have get come out, so... I guess it's a win-win? I don't know. But anyway, then I got a critical hit, so, and I talked through the entire battle. God damn it. Cinder, almost level 10. So <laughs> maybe I should attack more, he said. <laughs> Alright, so I have a choice to either walk back there or I can walk through here. I think I'm going to take the trainer battle and hope I can get the level 10. How'd you see me from right here? My Nidoran male and I are looking for a good challenge. I can't believe I almost got the genders fucked up. But yes, that is a Nidoran male. He is a flimsy level 7 and I am a very powerful level 9. So I shall be taking you down with my tackle. Hope this thing doesn't have like poison point or something. I hope I, I don't want to get poisoned on my way while defeating all these trainers. Anyway, let's take you down to Chinatown. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So why are you using Peck? Like, I understand it's probably stronger than whatever move you have. Actually, no. Isn't Peck only like 40 power? If you have Tackle, that would actually be stronger. Anyway, Cinder reached level 10 and finally learned Ember, which means it finally has a stab move, and I'm going to be burning my way through this entire forest like I probably should be. Anyway, let's travel back here behind this grass. And there's a yellow Pokeball here, which means anyone who's played X and Y knows that this is T a TM, TM86, which I think is... Is this TM for Power Punch? No, you get that somewhere else. TM for Grass Knot, okay. Anyway, there's another female trainer here. So let's test out our newly acquired Ember on the her. It's so pleasant to see fellow trainers in the woods. Oh, but it's not going to be pleasant for you, ma'am. Ooh, a Nidoran female. Well, it's a good thing you're not a Nido Queen, or else you'd be ground type and be able to destroy me. But instead, I have the advantage here, because you're going to get Embered. Ooh, I like that animation. Ooh, and I like that animation. The creators of this game have been slowly trying to add animations for all the moves. And some of them look really good, some of them don't. And some of them have no effects at all, like that one. But anyway, one more ember should be enough to take out this thing. And fainted. We gain A2 experience, and that was rather disappointing. <laughs> anyway, now it is time for us to confront the woman who stole our necklace. Well darn, it looks like you caught up to me. It's my fault for running into this dead end. The bridge was under construction, so hiding here was the only option. You want this necklace black, huh? Well, too bad. Team Eclipse doesn't return what they earn. That's right, kid. I'm a member of Team Eclipse. The only way I'd let you have your precious brick back is if you beat me in a Pokemon battle. You sure it's a brick and not a Lego? But let's face it, you're just a fresh new trainer. There's no way you could beat me. I love this song! Dun, 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 dun. Gonna... Alright, I'm gonna light your dog on fire if you don't mind. Wow, that did a lot more than I thought it would. <laughs> that was a crit! That did like 5 damage! Anyway, let's just burn your dog. Poochiana faded. Gained 66 experience. Nice amount of experience, actually. Anyway, she's sitting in a Pancham. Yes, let's switch into the Pokemon I don't have. Pancham was another Pokemon I actually remember using when I replayed through X and Y. I really enjoyed using it, actually. Although, Fighting Dark is a terrible tactic. Whoop! Oh, God! Hoo-hoo. You know, maybe I should have bought some po- Wait, I do have a potion. I was gonna be like, maybe I should have bought a potion before I came here, but I have one. So let's use that potion to heal up. Because that was a very close call, and I do not want that to happen again. Oh god, stop, stop, stop! Oh god, that was a crit. Alright, Ember. Oh my god, I burned it! Oh, that's incredible. And it's tackling me? Oh, okay, bud, you can tackle me. I'm pretty sure Arm Thrust would have actually killed me, but... Sure, I'll take the easy victory. Anyway, Pancha faded. I gained 135 experience. That's a good experience right there. Beaten by a king. Ugh. I get 360 for winning. Now, give me my brick back. What? How could this happen? Oh, this really isn't good. The boss is going to be so disappointed in me. Fine, here, take your necklace back. Team Eclipse will be back for it, though. Why am I changing my voice? I have no idea. We always get what we want. I got a brick back. Oh, hi, Jake. Good job getting your necklace back. She was one of those Team Eclipse people. I wonder what their problem is. Anyway, it's clear you really can't trust anyone you find your, to find your parents for you right now. If Team Eclipse really did take them, you need a strong team of Pokemon to beat them. A great way to train your Pokemon is by challenging all the gym leaders in Roya. There are eight gym leaders. And who knows, maybe while you're traveling, you'll learn more information about what might happen to your parents. Anyway, there's a gym in the next town over. I suggest we start there. Don't worry, coolest. We'll get your parents back. Now let's go. Yeah, Jake, I'm with you. We're gonna go on an adventure. 
But not before I probably run into an encounter. Or maybe not. Also, Jake disappeared. Okay. Jake's a ghost. Confirm. Jake, Jake's just gone. Anyway. So anyway, now that that adventure is over, I guess we can now take the time and continue talking to all the people in Chesma Town before leaving out and going to Route 3. So I guess let's start with this house. What do I have to say, ma'am? My grandpa really likes Pokemon. They were the only friends he had growing up. Oh, that sounds kind of sad, actually. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Make sure you take good care of your Pokemon. Pokemon are your friends, and don't forget that. I don't think any of these guys can give items. I'm kind of just talking to them to talk to them. So, what's in this house? A person who hasn't loaded in yet? And this way. My wife and I just moved to this town. Well, it's weird to say that your wife just kind of loaded in right in front of me. We wanted to start a family outside of a big city. He wanted to move here to start a family. I only agreed because this town has a sauce, but coffee. That sounds shallow, but I'm just going to shut up and walk away. Ironically enough, this is the only sauce bug coffee in the region that I know of. So, yeah. Uh, one last stop before we leave. Let's see what's in this house. There's a random guy with an empty painting. Oh, that painting looks so nice. I used to own a surf shop on a sweet little island. It got hit with a tsunami and a tornado at the same time. Like, when does that happen? It's like a double disaster. I just realized, is that reference to... You know what, never mind. We're just going to leave that as what it is. Anyway, with that, let's head on out to Route 3. Oh, wait, there's an item over there. Uh, and I just realized this is Route 2, not Route 3. I, I keep thinking the forest is Route 3, or Route 2, and this is Route 3. But no, in actuality, this is Route 2. I'm stupid. Let's grab this item. And... That the text did not pop out for. Oh, it's a nugget. <laughs> Thank you, game. Roblox breaking at one sentence at a time. Dear God. Anyway, moving on to Route 2. We can see that there's some grass up there, but... It's blocked by rock climb. These rocks look like they can be scaled. Anyway, if we talk to this guy... Well, Pokemon are on Route 2, but you'll need assistance from your own Pokemon. Some moves can be used outside of battle to perform certain tasks. Uh, I want this grass. I want it. I think there's also a TM up there. Yeah, I see the TM. You can see it, like, barely at the top of my screen. Like, yeah, like, right there. I want it. Uh -huh. Wait. Are you not a trainer? Oh, you are. Someday I hope to challenge the champion of Roria. Huh. Well, okay, I was about to say it's broke again. <laughs> anyway, yeah, good luck with that, girl. They only just released the 8th gym, so I bet the Elite Four is not even done. Anyway, you have a Skitty. Can you find a Skitty on her too? I don't know. I'm not gonna go over there. I just realized I am very weak from that last battle. Luckily, the Skitty was dumb enough not to attack me. So, we are actually good. Thank God. I did not think about healing. Anyway, Cinder Girl level 12. I'm light years away from my goal now. <laughs> Just hearing her say that makes me think of the one quote from Brock's gym. You're a million light years away from being able to challenge Brock. I <laughs> see uh.
anyway, moving on, we're going to get right out of Route 2. And by walking through this gate, we'll make our way to Route 3. Let's go through the gate. Ah, what do you have to say? I had my Pokemon all pumped up for battle, but the Pokemon on Route 3 paralyzed them. Now my Pokemon can't even move anymore. What about you? Walking with your Pokemon actually makes them like you more. It's a slow process, but it really works. He's not wrong. Walking with whatever Pokemon is out front will actually give them more friendship. And this guy's a trap. Well, I guess battling you gives me an excuse to go over what's here, which is actually a lot. There's a lot of really nice electric types. If you really want an electric type for your team, this is a really good place to get them. And once again, the trainers on this in this journey are being very convenient because Electri can actually be found here uncommonly. Well, let's hit him with an Ember. Mareepa can also be found here commonly, along with Shinx. Fuchiana can be found here uncommonly. Nikita can be found here rarely. Abra can be found rarely at 9.6%. And very rarely, you can find Pachirisu. At for 3.8%. I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm totally would be down for using an Electric and an Abra. The only, oh, oh, I got paralyzed, God damn it. The only problem with raising like an Abra is that they're impossible to use until you evolve them. So I would just be stuck switch training it. I don't really want that. Now, a Shinx... A Shinx would be a great idea to use. If it wasn't for the fact that I know what the first typing is in the next gym. However, Shinx is one of my favorite electric types. So I would be willing to, you know, overlook that. Plus, it being resistant to electric by being an electric type might actually help. Hey! First encounter! Honestly, guys, I don't think I'm even going to make some wince words anymore. I and it has a Tiffany? Oh, no, no, no. We're not missing words over this anymore. I am total And I'm paralyzed. I'm faster than I even when I'm paralyzed. But at the same time, it is level 5, and I'm level 12, so I guess I'm... And I was paralyzed twice. God damn it, Shinx. Anyway, I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to name her Pants, and we're all going to have one big awesome ass adventure. Pants' Bizarre Adventure. I'd watch that anime. Did you guys watch that anime? I'd watch that anime. Anyway, it's low enough. Let's chuck a ball at this thing. And test our luck. Man. I like this description for a Pokeball. It's thrown, it's thrown like a ball at a Pokemon. Comfortably encapsulating its, po its target. Anyway. One. Two. Three, and boom! Shinx was caught. It's gonna add to the Pokedex, and, let, and let's give it a name. Of course, like I said, if I can spell, I'm gonna name it Pants. I gained a little bit of experience for catching it, and... Uh, we'll, we'll put it out front, and we'll start switch training it. Without a Paralyzed Heal, that might actually help a lot, because they're in the fact that you know, my Pokemon's kind of paralyzed. Anyway, moving forward. There's a lot of grass here. Um, I think I'll be good for one more battle. Oh, crap. This is crap, miss. Whoa, Abra! The question is, do I want to try and catch this thing? You know what? I will throw one Pokeball at it, because we all know it's just going to immediately try and disappear. So I'll throw one Pokeball at it, and if I catch it, I'll use it, and if I don't catch it, then I won't use it. One, two, three, boom! I caught it! Well, I guess I'm using an Abra. This has been quite the interesting episode so far, actually. Episode two, and we've already got what- Wow! Wow, that was a lot of experience for Pants, holy crap. I didn't even get to name the Abra. Anyway, you know what? Let's look at the rest of our met teammates. Abra, it has synchronized. That's not a bad ability. Careful nature. I think that's. I still think yellow is minus and green is plus. So minus special attack, minus plus special defense. It's not a great nature. Of course, it's an Abra, so yep, it only knows teleport. 
Let's look at Panther's nature. It's a minus speed plus defense. Oh, that's not great. That that that's kind of poop. That's kind of a poop poop nature. But you know what? I was never the kind of guy to be like, oh, I don't like this nature. I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> no, I've never been that kind of person. I've just been kind of the guy to go with the flow, and whatever I get, I get. I also didn't look at their characteristics, so I guess I want to kind of go back in there and look at those. Sturdy body. I think that means the highest IV is in defense. And Abra likes to thrash about. I think that means attack. Man, I've got some weird Pokemon. But I love them anyway. I have no idea what I'm going to nickname this Abra. I've only used an Abra once. I think what I used an Abra was... was actually this game, actually. I used an Abra, and then I traded it out for a special Pokemon that I might want to talk about at a later date. Man, whenever I look at this game, I just... and realize that I want to go over so much of it, I realize that there's a lot of talk about past events, certain gift Pokemon, all the legendaries, and the fact that almost every Pokemon in, in, that exists in the real games are going to be in this one. So it's going to have like a full... I think the Pokedex is at... 807 now? So yeah, that's actually kind of weird to think about. That I'm going to have a lot to talk about. But anyway, I think on the note of getting two new members of our team, with the addition of Pants and whatever I'm going to name this Abra. You know, if you have ideas for the Abra, I will take them. Put them down in the description. I'll, I'll, I'll read them. I'll, I'll take ideas. And if I don't like them, or if I don't get any, before the time I record this next episode, I'll, I'll just do what I do and, you know, think of my own name. Or maybe we'll do it at a later point. It doesn't really matter when I get, I get it, because I could just, as I showed you guys earlier, in the PC you can change the nickname, so it doesn't really matter when I actually get the nickname, because I can just change it any time. But if someone, but if I give it my own nickname and I see a nickname of someone else's that I like better, I I'll see, I I might take it. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, so I can go and hopefully read what other nicknames people have left. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Brick Bar. If you liked it, watch the next one. Seriously. You know, whenever it comes out, because we all know me, I like to leave for no reason. But you know, I'm really enjoying playing this game again. It, it gives me a reason to kind of start over and stuff like that. So anyway. Thank you all for watching, I'll see you guys later. And next time, we're going to make it up there to where that radio tower is and hopefully challenge the gym ahead of us. Which, if you guys couldn't tell by me dropping all those hints, it's going to be an electric gym. And that's going to be very fun. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys then. Coolest out.